Hi, I'm Joni Spencer, Editor-in-Chief for the Commercial Baking Media Group, and I'm here at the BEMA convention talking with Stephen Marquardt with Zeppelin Systems USA. And in this Tech Talk, we are going to be discussing prehydration and Zeppelin Systems Dymomics. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Joni. Thanks for talking with me today. Well, thanks for having me here. Thank so you. I am excited to learn about hydration and prehydration and Zeppelin's Dymomics technology. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with just the very basic question. What is hydration and how is it measured? Okay, when we talk about hydration, there's, there's different ways. I mean, the way how the bakers think about it is that bakers often talk about the percentage of the hydration, which means um, of the dough or bakers uh, uh, percent water. That's what they when they talk about hydration. But hydration is is really the the percentage of all the liquids uh, calculated uh, against the flour content. That's what it is. And I can give you an example for um, like uh, uh, on my most dry doughs, like on a bagel dough or pretzel doughs. Um, uh, the doughs are hydrated with around about 50 to 57 percent and uh, with water and then while uh, most of the uh, bread doughs which is uh, really good for bread doughs are in the range around 58 to 65 percent of water hydration so when you when you do this when you calculate that it's very simple so what you do is you you uh, divide the weight um, of, of all the liquids uh, by the weight of all flowers, we could, 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 uh, sometimes it could be more than one flower type. Um, so you take that and then you multiply it, the result by 100. Okay. So that's your percentage then. Okay, so then let's talk about the, the prehydration stage in the process. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the benefits of prehydration in the baking process? Well, when, when your baked goods are, are properly uh, hydrated in the mixing stage, um, you will see really big improvements in areas like, like uh, yield, uh, mix time reductions, you have a gluten development much better, uh, you have a much better texture, um, and, and product consistency is always there, mm -hmm. and you have also a longer shelf life. Wow, so prehydration actually helps in production efficiency, but it also helps with product quality as well. Correct. Okay, so what are some of the key aspects of that? Mm -hmm. How does it, in the process, help with those things? Well, the key is for uh, it's full. Uh, it's a full and instant hydration. With a with a proper hydration, um, you can actually, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you have a much better gluten uh, development, or uh, the gluten can perform to its full potential, and uh, uh, and it increase your production qu uh, product quality and and consistency there. Um, so with an increased bond of water, the shelf life also uh, could be much longer. So that's the feedback we pretty much get from the industry. So there are several different ways that a baker can prehydrate, but today we're going to talk about the Dymo mix. So how exactly does the Dymo mix work? Well, the Dymo mix is, is first of all, is a very compact unit. Um, and the Dymo mix is, is, um, is, an, is a unit which is very um, efficient. And uh, what we do is, um, we're using the Dymo mix for blending dry ingredients with liquids. That's pretty much what we do. Um, so how does it work? So the Dymo mix is actually a mechanical controlled hydration unit. So uh, in other words, there's no extra pressure required. Some, some in the industry use a very high pressure to, to bond the water with the, with the flour. And, and for the infeed of the liquids, this is what they do. And we work with a gravimetrical and centrifugal force only. Okay. So that's, that's, that's how we work with it. So which also allows us uh, um, to hydrate as low as from 10% up to 150%. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, the unit was actually designed in, in the old days, was designed for dust-free flour. So that's, mm. that's how we came up with that idea, and that's the reason why we actually can go from low as 10% up to 150%. So how much R&D has gone into what Dymo Mix's capabilities are now versus when it was first developed? Well, it, it continued, as I said before, it was, uh, it was actually designed for dust-free flower type because um, when a when, uh, long time ago, it wasn't in the 80s, uh, the government approached us in Germany and said, hey guys, we have a huge issue here with the bakeries. They're inhaling a lot of flour, the bakers and so on. So this is how the development started with this whole unit. And we actually came up with an idea where we actually can bond water particles with flower particles. So we make out of micro particles, we make bigger particles, and then you have no more dust. 
So it's almost 99.9% .9 dust free. So oh, that's, wow. so that's an interesting subject. But, but the development moved on and we, then we saw this kind of sleeping prince sitting there and we said, uh, how can we continue with that? And that's, that's how we continued and we did a lot of uh, testing and so on. And then we found out that this is actually a really good unit for uh, increasing um, product qualities, uh, especially in the baking industry. Okay, so when, when you think about prehydration as part of the mixing process, and then we talk about the Dymo Mix as a piece of equipment, how does the Dymo Mix fit into the operation? Well, there's, of course, there's different demands. There are sometimes bakers, we do tests with them, and then they say, well, we already have a bakery in place, and uh, how can we integrate that? So usually the Dymo Mix, where it's best is where you integrate it is right from between the scale hopper, where you have your flowers and miners all together, and then you run this through the Dymo Mix straight into the mixing bowl. That's the idea um, pr production side, or that's the best spot to put it in. Um, there's other ways where we also do prehydration is on liquid sponge systems, for example, or sponge and dough systems okay. where we use the, the Dymo Mix. Um, so it can be added in different areas. Uh, it's, as I said before, it's a very compact design and, and it fits easily in. And so that can be a big issue for bakeries with a very small footprint in their operation. So yes. Dymo Mix is, is helping bakers add this prehydration step without adding any square footage, correct? Well, you add a little bit height to, okay. to it um, because imagine you have the unit sits right underneath the scale hopper, but as I explained before, the unit will be fit with a screw and then from there you go straight into the mixing bowl. And so that's, that's pretty much it. You add a little bit to it, but not much. Okay, Yeah. great. What are some of the advantages to using Dymo Mix for prehydration? Well, I think one of the, when you look at the point of view from, um, from health, uh, we actually create an industry environment because you prehydrate everything from the scale hopper into the mixing bowl. So there is no more dust. Usually you dump the flour or minor ingredients into the mixing bowl and you generate a lot of dust. Mm -hmm. Through the Dymo mix, you don't have that anymore. That's a huge advantage. Um, we do reduce the mix time, of course, because the mixing is already done. It's prehydrated. So you can go straight into your high speed mixing. Uh, we lower the dough temperature. We know it's around about three degrees Celsius. We actually have a lower dough, uh, dough temperature. And uh, we increase the hydration um, up to 5%. And uh, uh, also huge is, of course, is the energy cost. Um, you have huge energy cost savings versus normal operation when you do mixing in your, blend, in your mixer itself. Okay, so how does it decrease the, the energy cost? Well, it's the motor on it. If we have a 10 horsepower motor versus a 40 horsepower or 50 horsepower motor on a, on a mixer. So there is a huge energy cost savings and you have a constant uh, energy input uh, versus like a mixer, you have these peaks where you start and stop these mixers. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so do you have any success stories of customers who have been successful with Dymo Mix? Yeah, the biggest success, latest success we had um, uh, was really surprising for us is uh, we put in the Dymo Mix system and to replace actually a normal horizontal mixer for the production of sponge and dough. So in other words, we use only the Dymo Mix to produce sponge and dough. So we go from the Dymo Mix straight into, into that mixing bowl and then they, they take that sponge and dough and go into the fermentation. So how, what happened there is um, the, the result we saw was, was absolutely great because we were able to, um, to, to increase the yield uh, between 1.2 to 1.3% and, and uh, so, in other words, we added 4% more water, which is a lot, yeah. you know, I mean, 4%, uh, you, you can imagine you need less flour. Um, and then we reduced also the yeast content by 0.5%. Oh, wow. So that is, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good result and, yeah. and, and it's, a payback is enormous. So what specific product applications does Dymo Mix work best for? Well, in the baking industry, when we're talking about the fresh baked good industry, um, it's definitely good for, um, for uh, bread doughs and uh, rolls and buns and bagels. And as I said uh, before, too, is also the, um, uh, we use it for liquid sponges or um, for sponge and doughs. Okay. So really, 
almost any dough application could benefit from using Dymomix. When you use wheat flour, yes, definitely. Where you have gluten development, uh, that's what I would say that's the best uh, way you can get the best result out of it, yes. Okay. How can a baker learn more about Dymomix and its applications? Yeah. So, of course, you can visit us on our website uh, at zeppelin-systems.com. Um, and also important, uh, okay, upcoming IBIE next year, September, we will have the Dymo mix on our booth, um, maybe even a demonstration, a demonstration there on the booth together with a mixer supplier. We're not sure yet. But. Okay, yeah, I know I've been to some international trade shows where Zeppelin was exhibiting, and you have outstanding demonstrations with your Dymo mix. So I'm really excited about that. Yes. So we'll get ready for IBIE, and in the meantime, you can visit zeppelin-systems.com. Stephen, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. This has been really interesting. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you.